there's downtown. It's downtown St. Mary Glees, and there's the way out of town. And this is our house here. Kind of have to get run over. This is our house here, next to the green door. And I'll give you a quick tour. This is one of our two entrances. This is our dining room. The table was donated. It's a 200 year old wooden table with a cover on it. And this was also donated, this wardrobe by the folks that lived here before us, along with the lamp. Here is the veteran's bedroom that will turn into a lounge. Um, we'll do this into a lounge at some point. We're gonna refinish the floors and have some water damage to clean up, but it's good. I'm mean, not clean up, but fix. It's in great shape. Um, and then here is one of the dorm rooms. So the four bunk beds in here. And um, this is kind of a, a cool place. And then um, this is the kitchen, small and functional, small and functional. And then here's the main room. There's a smaller table and the sunroom and then their couch is coming tomorrow. This is, uh, this door goes to the bedroom, the, the dorm room downstairs, a bathroom. And then this is the room that they're working on. Now they're building another bathroom in here. This was just kind of a wide open laundry room inside the other entrance. This is gonna be a shower and toilet facility so we have another shower for when we have all these people staying at the house. And we'll show you outside real quickly. We have the furnace here and the water heater. We bought the uh, washing machine. We don't really need a dryer because in the winter we can dry clothes in the attic. This is our patio, this is where we'll have our uh, dinners and things like that when we have veteran events. There's all the trash that we accumulated for moving in. That's about half of it. Taking half of it out. Here is the backyard. So what I just walked under is the carriage house. It's the second building. This is the third building here. This is a garage. And here's the backyard. It's rather large. And we have a greenhouse, it needs a little work, but we can clean it out and put some stuff in the greenhouse here. We've got a clothesline out here. The garage, I'll show you the size of the garage here. This is the garage here. There's a big garage door. We can actually use this as a garage. This is the upstairs to the garage. Eventually this could be turned into an apartment. There's plumbing and electrical out here. The guys coming to patch up a couple little spots on the roof there. All right, as we go back through here. This is uh, some storage. We have some firewood in there, some plants. This is the exit out to the parking area. So we have our own parking here. There's the garage door. This is parking. We can close those gates if we need to. Inside. I'll show you the second floor. Washing some clothes. All right. Here's the kitchen from the reverse side. All right. These beautiful stairs. Half dorm room. So if you have more boys than girls or more girls than boys, we've got room for four in here. This has a little sink in the closet, believe it or not. There you go, just in case. In case you need to wash your hands when you're in the closet, I guess. This is the 
third dorm room. This has room for eight. And these are adult sized bunk beds, so adults can fit on these. This is one of the uh, queen bedrooms. This is another queen bedroom here. This has its own shower and a little sink in there, right there. Here is a small toilet and a sink at the end of a hall with awesome Africa wallpaper. Pretty cool. It's great. This is the master bedroom. Little desk to work at. And then a walk-in closet. It's very big. Okay. This is the master bath. So it's got a shower, a tub, two sinks, uh, room to put stuff, and then here's the, the view out the back through the carriage house and out into the backyard. Now, look at the attic. It's actually a really big attic. So we have some, uh, we have a couple of, uh, this is a ping pong table we're gonna put together that was donated. There's some storage area. This is a whole storage kind of area up here. Can be used. This is the attic, so we could, uh, we could build a room up here. Um, here's the other half of the attic. So obviously a lot more storage and shelving up here. This is a room that was a bedroom long ago, but could be could be redone. Um, and then down here we have two more rooms that could probably more easily be turned into bedrooms if need be. Here's one for storing some stuff in here, but this is a good sized bedroom. Obviously, we need to close it in a little bit. another one. This is also at one point a room, a bedroom. Wallpaper, but could be could be redone. Could be another bedroom. And that's it. That's our French house.